What's up guys, it's Shadukta MPX and we're back with another episode of Lovecraft. I now, okay, I know it has been a while since our last episode. From recording this, it's been now over a month uh, since I did the terraforming of, our, of the island that we share with Knight. Now, I'm sorry I've been a little bit away on that and I haven't uh, posted another episode of our Windcraft in almost two weeks. Uh, but that is, I have been extremely busy, uh, what with uni and work going on in the background. Uh, but I, I've been given a little bit of a break, uh, now, so I'll be back and, uh, be pumping out a lot more videos for you guys. Uh, and we've got to be working a lot more on our banded island, uh, cause that is just been sitting there for a little while. So today we will be going uh, and we'll be working on the farms. But before that, I figured we would go a little bit of sightseeing. So let's have a look at what everyone else has been up to. So this is Knight's house that she's been working on. It looks quite, quite phenomenal if I'm being honest. I quite like it. I like the, the mix of the cherry wood and the uh, the cobblestone look. She hasn't done too much more. Haven't done anything in here? No, not too much. Just been working on the balcony by the looks of it. And made that extended bit there. Yeah, you got uh, all of her pets. Yeah, not much, not much uh, else has been done there. So this is Neon's uh, mega base that he's been working on. So he's got his wither bloom there. Be sure to check everyone out in the description, by the way. I'll put a link in the in there for everyone's channel. Uh, I'll, not, I'll also, uh, if you check out on my YouTube channel, you see at the bottom they've got all the Lovecraft members. So he's been doing a lot of terraforming here. Uh, I did watch the uh, his uh, Twitch video, Twitch stream of him doing that. But yeah, he's coming along nicely. He's got a, quite a lot that he's been doing. Looks very nice. Can't wait to see what it looks like, you know, the overall when it's all done. You hear Dyson? Dyson is technically online, so I don't know if he's here. <laughs> oh, he just left. <laughs> Well, I got here just in time then. <laughs> so this is his observatory that he's been working on. Looks quite nice. Ooh, what's this? Oh, just all the color going. He's got a tree farm going over there. Looking good, looking good. I think this is his gunpowder. Or oh, this is his sugar cane. Yeah, this is his sugar cane. His gunpowder is... um below this, I believe. But yeah, quite nice. I like it. Got a futuristic uh, feel to it. Quite cool. I actually really like Milo's. I love Milo's. Um, Ooh, what was that? Oh god, that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> I was about to blow up something here. Uh, I really like Milo's design style, uh, especially with, um, with this. This one. This looks so cool. And then if you go in here, look at that. Oh, I love the texturing here. And it's got this ominous feel to it. I love it. March Madness armor leather bow and shield died from shad. <laughs> Aurora Borealis going on as well. 
But yeah, he's been doing a little bit of work on it. Nice. Uh, no, Nick hasn't been on in a while, so his base hasn't changed at all. Uh, so if you've been watching him, uh, that hasn't changed. <laughs> uh, Anya's hasn't changed at all as well. It's still the same. Uh, community farm, that hasn't changed. Uh, we got... Ooh, yeah, we got Lava's uh, firework shop over that way. Yeah, so that's uh, Lava, Lava Thor's um, fire workshop. Only for the high rollers to go in there. Uh, Chicken, unfortunately, he's left the server. So this is now Rogue's. Rogue's taken this over. Uh, I'm not sure what he'll do with it. KFC, please. KFC, KFC. Uh, <laughs> I know Chicken wanted a Chick fil A, but you know, KFC. KFC. <laughs> uh, we've got uh, the wordsmith. 150%. Oh, for lava. Ha! <laughs> Cost some more. And Dyson's been hard at work. He's been really hard at work. I mean, look at this. Detail. I love it. I love it. It's the most detailed building here, I think. Personally. Actually. Yeah, no, this is way more detailed. <laughs> yeah, that's way more detailed. Warning, please don't jump onto railing. Mm -hmm. I don't follow the rules. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice. Oh, yeah, so this is his uh, reforestation project that he's working on. Uh, so he's going to be reforesting all of this land all the way up to the bridge that's over there. Uh, which is really cool, but this this is sick. This is sick. Oh, it, it's a lot better than what it was. <laughs> nice, <laughs> but yeah, oh, I love it. it's so good. Maybe add a door here though, Dyson. Yeah, door, door, add a door, and make it like on the inside. So change this block to like a cobblestone or a stone block. I would do that. Adds a little bit more depth, but yeah. Uh, this looks good. That's his little recording tower because his um, replay mod isn't working at the moment. Oh, and look at that! That's just his um, detail. <laughs> it's all of his organization. Yeah. Move that there. There we go. Got the fireworks shop. Feels like the space is like really opened up quite a bit. I don't know why. <laughs> I think maybe he's done a bit of terraforming this way as well, around here, because it feels a lot more open. Just uh, honestly, just can't remember. Maybe it's because there was trees here. That's why it looks so different. Heaven, unfortunately, she's uh, moved on from the server as well. She's uh, gone to do her music. Uh, so what a little thing in there to check her out uh, I think she uses SoundCloud uh, for her music but she's got a channel YouTube channel as well uh, that she's working on so custom reforestation that um, Dyson is working on so looking forward to the end product of that uh, that's Heaven's house so she's not uh, with us unfortunately uh, we got Rogue Rogue has been doing some stuff he has been over here doing bit work. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh my god. There we go. Get a get a oh. There's another. Get out of here. Just make our way over here. All the Titan drowns are out. So this is what he's been working on. 
Uh, there we got the little sushi shop. It hasn't got it stocked yet, I don't think. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> We've got the library as well. It's a little public bookshop kind of a thing. Read me. Welcome to the bookshop. Feel free to take... Okay, to take a break <laughs> from the grind and read stories from other users in the server. Oh yeah. We got uh, the robot. That's by uh, Lava. We got the Lava's Defeat by Rogue. And we got the Wither Blossom by Neon. I'll definitely write some books and pop them in here as well at some point. Uh, we got his Rogue's Coal Shop. So he's definitely going that Japanese style, which is awesome. We got a little bell tower kind of a thing. I, I'm unsure about this. I'm unsure about the straight line that is here. He's probably still working on it, but I, I, I'll put my two cents in. <laughs> uh, I, I wouldn't have it like that. I would have it maybe either this a little bit of merging inwards or this merging a little bit outwards just because it... No one has it perfectly that straight. <laughs> I don't even know what it is actually to be honest. Is it a blacksmith? I'm assuming it's a blacksmith based off that. Anything up here? Hmm, I don't know. I mean I assume it's a blacksmith but it could be something else, I don't know. Maybe a tool? shop or something like that i don't know i have to watch rogue's video to uh find out so uh if he hasn't already uh put a uh thing in his uh, if he hasn't already posted the video on that one uh i'll just leave a link to his channel you guys can check it out there's a lot of cool stuff there And what we got here? We got Lava's Place. So I don't think anything else has changed. Or well, maybe since uh, oh, you guys last saw it. But um, we got the Sniffer Place here. Ooh, Sniffer. It's doing a lot of work. So we got the Sniffer Sanctuary. We've got um, this little diabolical labador laboratory. Axolotl farms. The lower heads. Test experiments. Sugar cane farm. Another sugar cane farm. Creeper farm. It's got a lot of farms going on here. But it's really cool. And we got a Seth's house up there. So it looks like he's finished, maybe, possibly, the house. Not sure. But looks like it based off that. But yeah, this spawn area has come along quite nicely. Got a lot of stuff going on. But yeah, uh, oh yeah, we got Neon's little tower over there as well, his beginning base. But yeah, that's uh, that's all from what um, people have been working on so far. So uh, we'll move on to our bandit island and.
Hey guys, so we've finished up with the farms now. Uh, you're probably wondering, uh, as you can clearly see just from my surroundings, that it looks and sounds a little bit different than what you've just seen. <laughs> well, uh, it actually has been uh, a f uh, maybe a couple of weeks <laughs> since I actually built this farm. So this second half of the video is actually uh, quite delayed. Uh, as I said at the beginning of the video, um, that, uh, I, I have been away for a little bit. Well, I kind of went away a little bit again in between that, and I've come back to, uh, finish, polish off the rest of this video. Uh, so we ended up doing this, uh, with the farms. I originally was going to have what's in front of me, the blank, this blank area, uh, to, be more of this farmland but I figured since it's a bandit island uh, they probably wouldn't uh, reserve too much to uh, farmland and more so to pillaging uh, so we we're only doing this little tiny strip of farmland that has survived from what this old kingdom used to look like uh, obviously this will be a smallish uh, like kingdom to before the bandits took it over uh and uh, we'll be doing that now you're probably wondering what is all of these like uh birds whistling and sounds like that it's not uh from my mic it is in game so i've added uh, a few new fabric mods uh to my game one of them is uh, ambient sounds i've done sound physics remastered and dynamic surroundings i feel like it'll add just that little bit of um niceness to the to the game because it, it is it it, it, get, it gets very it gets dead quiet pretty much it is dead quiet because i i personally don't really have the minecraft music going in the background if i do i have a tendency to just fall asleep while i'm playing <laughs> so uh having these sounds is actually really soothing and quite relaxing so yeah um let me know what you think of it uh but personally i quite i quite like it the other thing that you probably are noticing if you if you haven't got the eye for detail straight away uh is I've got a different shader pack on. Uh, instead of the complementary shaders uh, reimagined with some unbound elements that I customized, uh, I'm using uh, Solus shaders. So Solus shaders is a, another um, realistic uh, shader pack that I've been using. I'll leave a link to description to download it uh, for yourself in the description uh, but I, I quite like it it's got that nice little ambient like surroundings and, and I find it at night it, it looks so good it looks so good at night uh, like unbelievably like I love I, okay I I'm torn I'm torn between the two because I love the um the nebulae that the complementary shaders has, but I also really like uh, solar shaders. So solar shaders, it it has a similar nebulae, but it's a little bit different. And with it, you can also see like uh, the Milky Way and stuff like that. It just adds those little those little little details that just make it feel so serene pretty much uh, i will still use uh complementary shaders for my windcraft series so we'll still see it on that uh series uh, but for this one i'm thinking of sticking it to solar shaders unless you guys disagree and prefer to see the complementary shaders other than this one uh then we'll go with that yeah you see you can even hear an eagle in the background <laughs> now that's really cool the ambient sounds are so cool uh i have to admit but so we are not going to be doing uh, any farmland on this this area here. Uh, also something else, when I'm walking around, uh, you can hear the armor that I'm wearing like janking around. It, it just adds that realism. Uh, but we're not going to be doing any farmland here. I've decided we're going to do a little bit of a housing district here. So we can do a bit of a housing district. Uh, we'll start with a well as well for the, obviously for... Uh, uh, for all the citizens in this area, or uh, I guess bandit, bandit leaders, but they would have families as well. So obviously it would be for the families of the bandits, uh, the fathers that go out to go pillaging. Uh, but they will also do a forge as well. So you'll look forward to that in the next episode.
So other than that, that's a few changes that uh, I've done to uh, this <laughs> to my game at the moment. Uh, but yeah, so I've done this little farmland and we've got this area to look forward to in the next episode. So be sure to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you all guys in the next one. Goodbye.